Hello, this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's lovely world. Today in this video, I am going to be joined by... Liebeee! And look, you did it normally for once, you actually came out the painting. Holding an egg this time though, holding an egg, already eager to play the egg throwing game. And I am also going to be joined by Myths Minecraft Xbox Live Arcade, more commonly known as Chloe. And look, she's brought me milk. I can have my breakfast, I can have a cake, and then I can wash it down with a nice glass of milk. And you're very excited today, Lee, aren't you? <laughs> you're looking forward to finishing off Red Room. Anyway, let's go and have our breakfast first then shall we? <gasps> nom 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 no no Lee! No! That's what I normally do! <laughs> See this is what happens when you go and run around all night you get hungry. Nom 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 there we go and there's a little bit left for you Chloe. Uh Chloe? Hello? Where, where, where's Chloe going? Oh, Chloe, Chloe's very eager. She's already run off. <laughs> uh, dude, there's some breakfast there if you want. I'm drinking your milk. Uh, but before you run off, uh, we've got to play the, the egg throwing game. Look, there's an egg for you. Lee's already got one. And look at him. He's already out here and already aiming up. He's going straight for the, the most difficult one, the lime green one. No one has been able to hit this one yet. And once again, he's going for a 360. And you know what, Lee? You might have a better chance if you didn't spin in circles. Then again, I've not hit it either, so <laughs> I'm not one to speak. Okay, Chloe, your go. You should know the rules by now. You need to throw the egg uh, to try and hit one of the paintings off. There's only two left now, though, and so every one we get is going to be amazing, and <gasps> you did it! Chloe managed to hit it! You managed to hit the most difficult one! <laughs> that is amazing! How many attempts has me and Lee had trying to hit it? And this is <laughs> Chloe's, I think, her second attempt, and she managed to hit it. That is amazing. Right, right, that has motivated me. I am ready to go and hit the final one. Do you reckon I can get it? Let's go and line it up. A little bit of a jump and that wasn't even close. <laughs> right, one left. The final one. The final painting. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it eventually. And oh, I got an ender pearl as well. Do you want to play the, the ender pearl game then, shall we? <laughs> Should we go old school and try and land? Actually, no, I'm not gonna go and try and land in the Formula One car because I've already done that. And if I do it again, I don't want to be a fear. Let's go. Let's just go and end a pole over to the love garden then. Let me see if I can go and land on top of the, the pink heart if I can. Looking good. Oh, I think that's a bit too far. I think that's way too far, to be honest. Not even close. <laughs> and look at Chloe. Chloe managed to do it. Right on the top, in the middle of the heart of my love garden. You are being very impressive today, Chloe. You are, you got some talent. You're very good at throwing things, I guess. You're very, very good. I did. Anyway, there's a reason I came to the love garden, and that is because uh, I'm adding someone to it. I'm actually adding uh, two people to do it uh, to it today. I'm adding Tykeman and Whitney. And uh, I'm adding them because uh, Whitney actually made this pair of shoes for Tyke Man. And you can see that one uh, has a squid on and the other has Stampy. And I thought they were amazing drawings anyway. And the fact that she managed to do them on a pair of shoes uh, is even more fantastic. So they're brother and sister. So I thought I'd have to add both of them. So there we go. Uh, there are the amazing shoes. And uh, Tyke Man and Whitney, oh, welcome to my love garden. And so I mentioned briefly earlier, uh, what we're going to be continuing doing is building that room up. Oh, sorry, Leap. Sorry, sorry. Really? <laughs> didn't mean to, to tap you on the back of the head. That was me just saying a uh, well done for baking me breakfast. That was a little a little appreciative tap on the, the back of your head there. Anyway, we're going to be carrying on finishing uh, Fred's room up here. I know we made some, some pretty good progress in the last video. I'm going to go and very quickly show you what it looks like. So, yeah, it's a bit of a, a big empty black room at the moment. But we're going to uh, finish off here as well as the outside. And uh, also... I need to go and uh, pick a pick a companion. Who shall I who shall I have with me? Shall I have a dog or mittens? Everybody vote now. Okay, the way you're going to vote is by transmitting your thoughts to me. So either think in your head of a dog or mittens, and whichever one gets the most thought votes is going to win. So dog or mittens. Dog or mittens. You guys need to vote as well. Oh, <laughs> I think Lee's voted dog. <laughs> I'm gonna... I think I'm gonna go with Mittens. I think most of you fought Mittens, and Mittens hasn't joined me in a little while, so... Oh, careful. Uh, let's go up here and let's grab Mittens. It might be a better idea, because we're building uh, quite high up as well. It might be good to uh, to have Mittens with us, because she can't get hurt when she falls down. But where... where is Mittens? 
I think I can hear her. Is she is she out on the balcony? Oh, she is. She's enjoying the view in the balcony. Come on, mittens. Uh, you can come and join us today. And uh, yeah, let's go. Let's go and get busy. Ow! That that hurt me very much. Unlike mittens, I do take full damage when I fall. Even though I'm a cat, um, I'm not a particularly good one. I'm a bit of a, a chubby cat from eating too many <laughs> cakes. So I kind of fud when I land rather than gracefully uh, landing on the ground. Anyway, let's go up here and uh, let's go. <laughs> Are you staying as a, as a dog the entire video, Lee? <laughs> right, let's go up here and let's go and try and finish off the room. And oh, here we go. Oh, there's a, a double door there now. I think that's new. And so, yeah, Mittens, you can stay down there. And uh, what I think I'm going to do is actually change the, the, the ceiling a bit. I'm going to make it into a, a checkered pattern rather than uh, just being all black. And so it's going to be half black and then half purple. So if I go uh, like this and do it as little cubes like this, and then we can go and make a, 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 a checkered pattern. And then I'm going to go outside on the roof and I'm going to go and make the, the roof a bit more slope. We're just going to use, uh, I think, just cobblestone stairs uh, just so it fits in with the, the rest of the pattern. Otherwise, it's all just going to look uh, completely black like that. And Chloe's had a good idea, actually. It might actually be... Lee, <laughs> what have you changed into now? You've changed into a massive chicken. <laughs> I think Lee's having fun playing dress up. I might actually join Chloe and uh, hop up here and uh, do it from the roof. Might be a, an easier way of doing it. And be careful in the water, Mittens. Be very careful. And so, yeah, I think this might be a bit of a, an easier place to do it from. So uh, all I need to do is try and be very careful that I don't accidentally fall down. I think uh, Chloe's made a, a load of holes for me so I can uh, very quickly go and fill this in. Look at this record time we managed to do this. So from the inside, uh, hopefully this is going to look really cool. Uh, but the first thing, uh, the next thing we need to do, sorry, uh, is to make the outside look a little bit nicer. So uh, all I need to do is make a, a whole load of uh, cobblestone stairs. And I've got a bunch of cobblestone on me anyway. And so I'm going to go make as many as I can. There we go. I've got over a stack of cobblestone stairs and uh, yeah we're gonna do exactly what Chloe's doing and uh, just go and place them all the way around the outside that one's the wrong way around though <laughs> and so if you just do them uh, around like this and then it's just gonna make the the whole ro uh, roof look sloped and then at the top we're just gonna do some some normal blocks just to uh, to make that bit look okay and you can do the corners like this and then you'll see it kind of goes and makes a little corner block uh, which makes it all look nice and smooth so let me just go around to here I don't think I'm gonna be able to do that far side because the the windows are there but I should be able to uh, to do the rest and then I'm going to hop on inside and uh, do all of the, the decorations uh, in Fred's room. And I guess I need to... Lee, is Lee playing dress up again? I like you as the as the helpful Barely. I think he's he's having fun changing his skin. Right, so let me just go and carry on placing these. Then, yeah, I need to start thinking about what would, what would Fred like? Because as I mentioned in the last video, he still doesn't know that we're building him a bedroom. So I want this to be a really big surprise for him. So I want to make sure that I got uh, all of his favourite things in. So, so what do Endermen like? They like blocks. They like carrying around dirt blocks. They like roses as well. I should probably put uh, a rose in, in a flower pot or something along those lines. And uh, they need a bed and they need a long bed because they're long people. So <laughs> I need a very long bed for him as well. And here we go. Here's the, the top almost finished. So uh, Chloe, if you go and finish off the final top bit, I don't have enough cobblestone. But if you just go and um, I guess if we go one higher maybe with the, with the stairs and uh, then go and fill it in at the top. So if we go around like this, yeah, and then if we go and just fill the, the very top in with cobblestone, uh, then this should look okay. So let me just go and help out very quickly. And uh, then I'm going to hop inside and uh, finish off uh, the rest of the, the inside. So I think that's all of my cobblestone gone. Uh, but I'll leave Chloe to go and finish that off. And uh, while she's doing that, uh, let me go and start decorating uh, the inside, shall we? And mittens, you look camouflaged there. All I can just see is the, the little ends of your tails and ears and paws down there. <laughs> and so, yeah, uh, I, need a, I need a place for all of his favourite blocks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do, like, some, some plimps. And so I'm going to, I need to make a, a crafting table and then I'm going to make some, I'm going to make some never quart pillars and they can be uh, places where he can put all of his favourite blocks. And so uh, how do I make the, the pillars again? I think I need to, oh, there we go. I just make them by using two of the normal blocks. So I can have these along here, I guess. And I need to get rid of the carpet. Otherwise, it won't let me place the blocks. I need to make sure I place them like this uh, so they're facing the right way. So these can be like uh, little plimps where uh, Fred can go around the world and he can collect all of his favourite blocks and he can place them down here on display. So I think I put uh, four of these along like that. And I think I might do the bed here. And I need to make sure that uh, the bed bed is um, over one of these. Here we go. It needs to be over this wood uh, because I want to put down some, some wall blocks here. I need to make sure that you're not going to see it from underneath. So if I go and put some uh, black wall along here 
And then and this is where I'm going to put the beds. And there we go. I think Lee's putting the beds down. Mittens is already on it. Look at Mittens dancing on the pillow. Look at those moves. <laughs> Look at her doing the Mitten head spin. That was very impressive, Mittens. Good girl. <laughs> and now she's just staring at me. Right, so yeah, th these are the pillars. And then uh, I also need a, a red row. So I actually got, need to go and make a flower pot. And I've never actually ever made a flower pot in my lovely world. And uh, they're really easy to make. All you need is a bit of clay. And uh, there should be some, yeah, there's some clay up here. And so I'm going to go and grab this. And I think I need... Need, uh, three pieces because you need to make the uh, the clay into bricks and uh, then uh, you need uh, three bricks uh, in order to uh, in order to, to make a uh, one flower pot I believe so let me go and uh, put this in a furnace in here somewhere and uh, then I can go and start that smelting and I need to get a rose as well but first I'm gonna go and very quickly invite uh, Lee and Chloe back into the game because uh, I need my I need my minecraft helpers here to be honest I think we've almost got it done already uh, but I just want them them back here just for the just for the company me uh, just to accompany me in the video so there we go let's invite them back in and uh, I need to get a rose and uh, so the easiest way to probably get a rose is to use bone meal uh, if you get uh, a bone and uh, you make it into some some bone meal and then if you place that on the ground uh, then that way you can um it makes like a load of flowers appear and grass and stuff and then that way you've got a good chance of getting a row so this is normally uh, how i go and try and get most of my flowers so if i just go out here and uh, find some grass i'm not stealing any flowers from the love garden they stay there and so if i just find uh, an empty patch over here i can go and just start placing it down and there we go look i managed to get a rose already and look there's a mushroom over here oh and, uh, and a googly as well let's go take out the googly shall we and let's have a look over here it says shh the fairy is sleeping. Okay, I guess I won't go up there. I guess there's a, <laughs> a fairy up in there somewhere. And so yeah, let's go and head inside and uh, go and get the um, the clay as it should have now gone and turned into some bricks. And then I can make uh, another little plinth and I can put the, the flower pot on and uh, a red rose. And so I guess um, Fred can pick up the rose and uh, if he finds someone that he really likes, he can go and give it to them. So yeah, here we go. Here are my three bricks. And I believe that is what I need to make a flower pot. As I said, I've never actually made one before. Are they round here somewhere? Uh, where, where are flower pots? Are they in decorations? Here we go. They're in decorations. Uh, so let me go and uh, hop back up the ladder. We should probably start shutting the doors because it has become night now. We don't want any googlies wandering in <laughs> mittens are you pretending to be one of fred's favorite blocks you decided to sit up there <laughs> right let's go and put this down um over here then and uh i'm gonna place that down there oh no i can't because the the carpet's there i completely forgot about that i need to break away that and then jump and then i can go and put the the flower pot on top of that and then put the flower into the flower pot and there we go we got a lovely little rose and i might put a sign up there next to it saying like for a special person or, or something uh, along those lines and uh, what else could i put in here uh, what else do they what else do they like oh oh a dirt block there we go here's one of fred's favorite blocks a nice lovely grass block <laughs> he's gonna love that ender pearls i should put ender pearls up uh, i should go make an item frame and put up some ender pearls that is something that uh, fred absolutely loves and to make an item frame all you need is leather and i should here we go I got some leather in here. So let me go and grab one piece of that. And then you just need uh, sticks as well. And then I can go and make myself a, an item frame. So that will be in decorations. And uh, I think I've got some ender pearls on me. There we go. I've got 16 ender pearls on me already. So that's going to be easy. And I'm going to go and put that. Now, I might put it on top of his bed. Or actually, I might just put it on the, the opposite side of the room. It's going to be a room of all of his favorite things. So uh, let me just go and put that up there. And put the ender pearl in and i want to make the lights better actually i've got um i got four redstone uh, lamps that i made before the video and i might actually use them to light up the room i might put these up and then put redstone torches everywhere so there'll be like a kind of quite a, a dim light throughout the entire room because endermen generally like quite dark places so uh, let me go and make a, a whole load of redstone torches uh, just so i can cover them around the entire room and i think you make them around here here we go and look, i can hear him i heard fred did you hear him he's somewhere around here i heard him teleporting around the place everyone be careful not to look at him in the eyes because you know he gets upset about that but he's generally very friendly did you hear that i heard him teleporting though maybe he's actually going to teleport up here and go and check out his room already i hope no one's told him uh redstone torch i know lee i was on it <laughs> right let me go and get rid of these torches here and yeah, hopefully uh, Fred's going to come up and have a look. I hope no one's told him. I hope no one's ruined the, the surprise of the fact that they're, that we're making Fred's room. So here we go. I think this is it. This is it pretty much complete. So I might put up a few more signs. And uh, I guess Fred can go and get all of the, the blocks that he wants. And here's his very long bed, which he has to <laughs> has to lie across. I think that's going to be just about big enough for him. And it uh, looks like Lee's putting up the signs. But something that I do uh, want to very quickly do is uh, go and have a look for Harrison. 
And do you remember who Harrison is? If you saw my last video, you'll remember that I came across a, a zombie villager and I was able to cure him. And so I now have a villager in my world. And where is Fred? Can you hear him? Oh, there he is. Fred's just wandering just outside. He's by my tree farm. Right, hopefully he's going to go and check out the room. He's so close to it. <laughs> right, let's go and have a look for Harrison. Let's, let's play hide and seek with Harrison. Hide and Harrison. <laughs> and let's go and see if we can track him down. He's normally uh, hanging out. Oh, Chloe, Chloe, watch out. There's a creeper. There's a creeper. Oh, no, run, run, Chloe, run. I'm going to get him. I'm going to get him. I'm going to knock him into the to, into the wishing well. Come on, Mittens. You're supposed to scare him. He went to jump into it. He went to jump into the wishing well to put himself out. Right. We're gonna have to be careful. The googlies are out on force. Look at them all up there on googly island all hanging out up there. And oh, there's another one over here. It's all right, Chloe. I'll get it. I'll get it. Okay, we're good. We're good. Look at Lee charging up to take them all out. Right. First person to find Harrison wins. Where is he gonna be hanging out? He's normally in one of these shops. He loves going shopping, Harrison does. Is he in the pick a pet pet shop? I don't think he is. Let's go and have a look in here. He likes hanging out in the milk bar. Here he is. Here's Harrison. You have not met him yet, have you, Chloe? This is Harrison. He's the, the first villager inside of Stampy's lovely world. What's that, Harrison? You're thirsty? I think Harrison wants a drink. All right, let me go... Let me go behind the bar and we can all go and have ourselves a nice glass of milk. I've already got one bucket on me here and uh, there's a few more in here. Let me go and get uh, four buckets. So we're going to have four buckets of milk. That will be uh, one each. So let me go and clear out my inventory a bit. And uh, let me go and milk from the, the crazy cow up here. One, two, three, four. And so there's a, a nice bucket of milk for you. Harrison, there's a bucket of milk for you on the bar. Would you like Would you like some? Come on over here. Oh, he wants to sit at the table. He wants to be civilized. Okay, there you go, Harrison. There's a bucket of milk for there. Whenever you're thirsty, you can go and drink it. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to have one here as well. And Lee, there's a bucket of milk in here for you. Where's Lee wandered off to? I think he's gone for a, a bit of an explore. Okay, I guess I'll, I'll leave him to it. So yeah, here's your bucket of milk down here, Harrison. <laughs> Feel free to, to have that whenever you want. And whoa, that was a, a speedy entrance, Lee. There's a there's a bucket for, of milk for you there. Oh yeah, sorry, you're the employee, aren't you? I, I guess you're supposed to be serving it. <laughs> right, we just about have time. Uh, to run over back to the bedroom. And you stay in there, Harrison, because it's dangerous at night. And look at Mittens being well behaved outside. Yeah, we just about have time uh, to go and run back to uh, to Fred's room. And uh, hopefully uh, he has gone and, gone and uh, had a look at it. Maybe he's even gone and put a block down, one of his one of his favourite blocks. Uh, let's go and check it out. He did, he did always seem to hang out in that room anyway, even when it wasn't technically his room. So <laughs> if he's actually gone over to it now, then that wouldn't be uh, too big of a surprise. But... Uh, let's go and see if he if he likes his room. Fred? Fred, are you in here? Oh, Fred hasn't been in here yet. Or maybe he just came and had a look and then wandered off. <laughs> so anyway, this is this is the, the room complete. This is Fred's new bedroom. And so I guess the next big thing to do is to build a house for Harrison. Harrison's home. Harrison's hide and seek home. Maybe we could build him a massive house and have it as a hide and seek place so we can always go and play hide and seek with him. That would be quite cool, wouldn't it? And so I'm going to be doing that soon. But in my next video, I'm going to be starting a big project and beginning something very special. I'm sure a lot of you have noticed that I'm very close to my 200th special and I do have something big planned and we're going to be beginning it in my next episode. So you're going to find out uh, what that is uh, when my next episode's online. But sadly, that's the end of this video here. I want to thank Lee and Chloe very much for helping me. And I will see you all later. Bye!